All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. Because I never know when I get these vids up. I didn't get anything up this last couple of days because I've been really, 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 really busy. And this week I'll be just as busy seeing that somebody works on vacation and another person got fired last night. So I got some double shifts this week. Yay, but it'll help pay the bills, right? Um, anyway, you know, believe it or not, I thought that I had made a video on this topic. And I probably did render a video on this topic. I can't find it. And I thought I'd put it up online. I thought I'd upload it. Or had uploaded it. But uh, this is something that I'm really hearing nothing about. And it has to do with a topic that I report on quite often from a great many angles. And that would be internet control. A while back, and I got to re-upload these vids, but I reported on like the whole um, ACTA agreement that was being considered by um, a few various nations. I've reported on the Cybersecurity Act, the Presidential Kill Switch, the list could go on and on and on. And uh, last week I'd stumbled across an article at the Electronic Frontier Foundation that was uh, examining a bill called the uh, Protect IP Act. Now, there are two versions of this bill. Uh, both are draconian, one more so than the other. Uh, the one in the House, the House version of the bill. Um, how do I put it lightly? Uh, people, what our government is trying to do is, is create uh, the American version of the great Chinese firewall. I know that this bill, at least in its original intent, looks at um, sites that infringe on copyright law, uh, you know, issues regarding like uh, things like DMCA, but there are provisions within this bill that could be horribly perverted and uh, certainly create an atmosphere wherein an American version of the internet could be born. What do I mean by that? An internet full of censorship. Not much different than the Chinese and internet written. You know, you are only allowed to go to certain domains and, uh, and others are blocked. Um, I, I'm just going to read this short article. This is the article that I found on the Electronic Frontier Foundation's website. I'll link it in the below bar, but um, here we go. Title of the article, Stop the Internet Blacklist Legislation. The Internet Blacklist Legislation, known as Protect IP, as the Protect IP Act in the Senate and Stop Online Piracy Act, also known as SOPA in the House, is a threatening sequel to last year's COICA Internet Censorship Bill. Like its predecessor, this legislation invites Internet security risks, threatens online speech, and hampers Internet innovation. Urge your members of Congress to reject this Internet Blacklist campaign in both its forms. Now, I know this was up in the Senate just this last couple of days. Um, I could probably check right now, but you all, I'm sure, will fill me in in the comments as to whether this was passed in the Senate or if it was referred back to committee. Last I'd heard, it seemed like it was going to be getting referred back to committee. Uh, big, big media and its allies in Congress are billing the Internet blacklist legislation as a new way to prevent online infringement. But innovation and free speech advocates know that this initiative is nothing more than a dangerous wish list that will compromise Internet security while doing little or nothing to encourage creative expression. As drafted, the legislation would grant the government and private parties unprecedented power to interfere with the Internet's domain name system, or DNS. The government would be able to force ISPs, which is just your, your, your internet provider, internet service provider, and search engines to redirect or dump users' attempts to reach certain websites' URLs. In response, third parties who woo, or in response, third parties will woo average users to alternative servers that offer access to the entire internet, not just the newly censored U.S. version, which will create new computer security vulnerabilities as the reliability and universality of the DNS evaporates. So I'm sure this is going to target sites like torrent sites first, or um, uh, one of my new favorites, um, ice in, I don't know, icefilms.info, I always get that mixed up. But you know, sites where you can watch TV shows, movies, things like that. It's going to start with that. Uh, it gets worse, and here we examine the more draconian efforts in the house. It gets worse. Under SOPA's provisions, surface providers, surface providers, service providers including hosting services would be under new pressure to monitor and police their users' activities. This kind of ties into the ACTA. Well, what I'm worried about is the whole three strikes in your alt rule, where in your ISP basically polices you, and if you're discovered, uh, 
Enge engaging in, uh, I guess what we call infringement activities three times, that internet service provider cuts you off. You know, you're done. No more internet. Uh, and it puts you on a blacklist, making it difficult for you to get internet access through another provider. Um, internet service providers will be under pressure. Okay, I said that. Well, protect IP targeted sites dedicated to infringing activities. Some of the sites I just talked about. SOPA targets websites that simply, simply don't do enough to track and police infringement. And it is not at all clear what would be enough. So one has to wonder, would sites like uh, YouTube come under fire? You know, uh, And it creates new powers to shut down folks who provide tools to help users get access to the Internet. The rest of the world sees, not just the U.S. authorized version. So are they going to start taking on proxy sites and things like that? You know, for people that, you know, it's just the principle of it. You know, um, the fact that Hillary Clinton endorses this legislation... Should send send shivers. Should send shivers up your spine. In that, I, I just get a kick at all the, uh, at all the, uh, the, the 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 pale pep talks of our leadership. You know, wherein they encourage internet freedom abroad. You know, you shouldn't censor the internet. Be it China, be it Syria, be it Egypt, Bahrain, whatever. Even though not so much Bahrain, because remember that government's an ally to the United States. But you all get the idea. And yet here at home. Nearly on the anniversary of the Patriot Act, which was reauthorized yet again, uh, we we have bills like this coming up that are, are, you know, bills meant to contain infringement and yet at the same time infringe upon our liberties. It's just it's a joke. Uh, Senator Ron Wyden, Democrat Oregon, has placed a hold on the Senate version of the bill, taking a principled stand against a very dangerous bill. But every senator and representative should be opposing the Protect IP Act and SOPA. Contact your members of Congress today to speak out. So I would suggest you contact your Congress people. I've already emailed mine today. If I remember correctly, one of them is opposed to this bill too. I mean, they haven't made an effort to, you know, uh, send it back to committee or whatnot. But I mean, this. <laughs> We often make fun of the Chinese firewall, you know, where and you can go to this site, but you can't go to this one. And I don't mean we as in you and I, but we, we poke at it. The government does. And yet, you, throughout a process of, or throughout a series of bills, we've been processing or, or mechanizing our own firewall of sorts. And it's just a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, a little bit here in ACTA, a little bit there in the Cybersecurity Act, a little bit, a little, well, big bit here with a presidential kill switch, a little bit here with SOPA and Protect IP. And when you put all this together, it, it, it really, it's a chain around the Internet's neck. And it's something that... You know, we should have unwarranted access to. I don't know, scary stuff. But uh, yeah, if any of you have any updated information on the status of Protect IP or SOPA, please leave a comment in the below bar. Um, I'll leave a link to the article in the below bar. Maybe I'll, I'll get a few more for you. I've got the one where Hillary Clinton's like, yeah, this is a good thing. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Later. Peace. Pay attention to this stuff. Don't let it go by the wayside. You get burnt in the end when that happens. Ciao.